What if Earth suddenly had a twin? Imagine waking up one day to find a second Earth, just like ours, right next door in the solar system. Sounds crazy, right? Well, if it ever happened, there could be two possible outcomes. Total destruction or something surprisingly logical. All right, let's start with the worst case scenario. Chapter 1. The Big Collision For a second Earth to exist with conditions exactly like ours, it would need to be the same distance from the Sun as we are. Our planet's orbit is just right for life. Move a little closer, and we'd be living in a scorching desert. Move a little further, and we'd be frozen like Antarctica. But two massive planets can't share the same space. The gravity between them would pull the two Earths together, causing a collision that would be catastrophic. Picture two giant planets smashing into each other at 67,000 miles per hour. It wouldn't just destroy both worlds, it would also turn the Moon into dust. What if Earth's twin orbits between Mars and Earth? This would change our lives forever. The idea of a second Earth has been around for a long time. Scientists once thought it might be hiding on the other side of the Sun, but modern tools show that's not true. Our telescopes would have seen it by now. Now, let's say we find this second Earth. Astronomy would get hundreds of billions in funding, making it a top priority. Experts would come up with many ideas about what this planet is like and what's happening there. Since it's almost the same distance from the Sun, its weather would probably be similar to ours. Scientists soon find out that Earth's twin has liquid water and continents, but they look different from ours. Life probably exists there too, but we don't know how it began. One idea is that life on Earth started with amino acids from a meteorite, so it's unlikely the same thing happened on this new planet. Instead, life may have developed in a different way. Maybe fish never left the water, leading to intelligent sea creatures like amphibians with scales or giant octopuses. Or, if fish grew legs but didn't like being on land, the planet might be home to smart bird people or even human-like moles and advanced worms from deep underground. To find out for sure, scientists plan to send a rover, like the ones used in successful Mars missions. But strangely, just two days after the launch, a mysterious probe returns, not ours. It looks like the beings on this second Earth have been watching us too. Chapter 2 the future of finding life beyond Earth. After the sudden arrival of the strange space probe from the second Earth, the excitement about finding life beyond our planet reaches a whole new level. Now, we're not just guessing about aliens. We might actually be interacting with them. The idea of Earth having a twin with different kinds of life suddenly seems much more real. In light of this, another recent discovery becomes even more important. A super Earth, called TOI-715b. Unlike the imagined second Earth in our solar system, TOI-715b is located 137 light years away, close in space terms. It's about one and a half times the size of Earth, making it a super Earth, and scientists are very interested because it might support life. The big question is whether TOI-715b could be a place where life can exist. It's in what scientists call the habitable zone, the area around a star where temperatures could allow liquid water, which is essential for life. The planet orbits a red dwarf star, which is smaller and cooler than our sun. Red dwarfs also live much longer, giving more time for life to form and grow. The star in TOI, 715b's system is older and calmer, which means it doesn't give off powerful bursts of energy that could wipe away a planet's atmosphere. Scientists think Toy 715b could even be a water world, a planet covered in a huge ocean. If this is true, there might be all sorts of sea life, maybe even more than on Earth. If life exists there, it might have followed a path similar to what we imagined for Earth's twin, intelligent sea creatures, amphibians, or life forms completely different from anything we know. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, Astronomers are trying to find water vapor in TOI-715b's atmosphere, which could mean liquid water below. If they find signs of a thick atmosphere or water, it would boost the chances of life being there. There might also be another planet in the same system, close to Earth's size. If it's real, 
It would be the smallest planet in the habitable zone ever found by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as the TESS Telescope. The discovery of Toy 715b, along with the idea of a second Earth and the strange space probe, gives us a glimpse into a future where we might not be alone in the universe. It pushes us to think about what alien life could look like and how we might interact with it. Could the encounter be peaceful, or would it change everything we know about life and space? The possibilities are endless. Chapter 3 The Planet Radius Gap But the most important part about TY 7115b is that it's in the so-called Small Planet Radius Gap. If we line up the planets, there are those that are bigger and smaller than Earth, but there's a sudden gap in planets that are about one and a half to two times bigger than ours. Where are they? This gap is interesting to scientists because it tells us something about how planets form and change over time. It's not that planets don't form in this size range. They actually start off larger and then lose some of their mass, like a balloon gradually deflating. Perhaps it happens because of how they orbit their stars, with stars blowing away some of their mass as they dance around, just as our sun does with gas from comet tails. This gap holds a lot of mystery, and planets like our new super-Earth are clues that could help us unravel it. We aren't sure whether it exists around red dwarfs. Maybe it's a gap in how dense these planets are, rather than their actual size. Studying our discovered planet is even more interesting because it'll help us learn more about distant stars and their planets. Chapter 4 TESS – A New Era Now, I mentioned TESS a while back. NASA's TESS has been in space for six years now and has been incredibly successful. NASA launched TESS because we had already found over 5,000 planets orbiting other stars, mainly thanks to the Kepler telescope. But Kepler mostly found large planets, not necessarily like Earth. We decided to focus TESS on finding smaller Earth-like planets around nearby bright stars, making them easier to study with future telescopes. Here's how it works. The camera observes stars and looks for changes in their brightness. If the brightness suddenly drops for a while and then returns, it could mean there's a planet passing in front of it. But stars can dim for other reasons too such as flaring up or having dark spots on their surface, which is why we need to be careful with this data. TESS shows us the size and orbit of these planets, and then ground telescopes help determine their mass. With these three parameters, we can figure out what the planets are made of and whether they're rocky like Earth or gassy like Jupiter. Yeah, you want to avoid Jupiter after taco night. Chapter 5 Notable Discoveries one example of TESS's discoveries was the TOI-700 system. There, it discovered its first-ever Earth-like planet, TOI-700d. This exoplanet also orbited a red dwarf and is even closer to us, about 100 light-years away. Unfortunately, it's unlikely to be habitable because the temperatures there are crazy. Another big discovery was made in the AU Microscopy system, where TESS found a planet about four times the size of Earth and another nearly three times Earth's size. This system has become a key area for studying how stars and planets form and change over time. TESS has also spotted a variety of other exciting finds, including supernovae, hot worlds, and more. As it enters its sixth year, we can only expect more exciting findings to come. So, what's next for TOI 715b and the search for life beyond our planet? The discovery of this super-Earth opens the door to endless possibilities. As we continue to explore and learn more about our universe, who knows what other surprises await us? If you enjoyed this exploration of NASA's incredible discovery, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content. What do you think? Is there life waiting for us on these distant worlds? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.